What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I know I haven't uploaded in about a week. Uh, I just kind of want to give you guys an update on what's going on and uh, why I haven't really uploaded and that's because honestly I really don't have anything to upload at the moment. I haven't gone anywhere, I don't have anything to install. Um, if you guys have any requests of the type of videos that you guys want me to make, drop a comment down below. There's certain footage that you guys like to see, certain footage that you guys don't. Um, I do want to start doing some small challenging videos, so if that's something that you guys want to watch, drop a comment. Uh, other, otherwise, I'm still probably going to do them, so if you guys don't want to watch them, that's okay, I understand. We have something new coming for the car. I should have it on by the next weekend. And also, I haven't really installed my Sunscreen extensions because I decided to go ahead and have them re-clear coated. And I feel like they could use another layer of clear coat because I don't, I, honestly, I don't know how old they are. Over time, carbon fiber wears uh, if you let it sit out in the sun a lot. And I feel like these are either really old or it sat in the sun forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them clear coated. They don't have any faded spots or anything, but I'd rather just be safe than uh, sorry. Just kind of, cause I do want to keep them long term. So I might as well go ahead and get them re-cleared while, while I have them off before I even put them on the car and then take them off again. And so yeah, so for the next weekend we're going to have at least two new parts going on the car. I do have um, a show that I'm sort of getting ready for which is going to be October the 26th. That's uh, Tuner Evo in Charlotte. So if anybody, any of you guys want to come out. I'll be there. Uh, I asked John Thick of 30 to go, so he, he'll be there more than likely. And I'm not sure who else is going to be going that's a uh, BMW owner or, or F30 owner because you do have to register and you have to get approved. So hopefully, uh, we have, you know, there's a good turnout with BMWs. Uh, I know I've real that's one thing I've realized over time. There's been more BMWs that go, because I've been to the show ever since from the beginning, since Tuner Evo came out uh, to Charlotte. It started in Philly, and then eventually he started spreading out to different states. So uh, it's, I've noticed a lot more BMWs coming out uh, over time, which, which is a good thing. And I do have another show that I'm going to on September the 21st. Uh, that's gonna be at the beach. So it should be a cool area. It's something different. I've never actually been to that area of uh, North Carolina. So that's kind of why I'm going. Just to, so I get to visit the area and then I get to be at a show. Um, I'm not really expecting to win anything. I just kind of go, I like the vibes of being at a show and the prep and whatnot. So. If you guys want to go to that one, that is a, it's called Sumo Speed. It's the show is by Sumo Speed. Uh, it's called Beach Bash, I believe. That'll be on Sunday. I mean Saturday, the twenty first. Uh, but that's all of all I have for today's video. Um, actually, I have one more thing, but that's all I have for updates for right now. And this is. The footage that you guys are about to see are when I was driving back from Mexico, I happened to come across a Civic SI. At first I just thought it was a stock Civic, uh, but once he got on it, I was able to hear it. I was able to hear that the car was boosted. I heard the wastegate, but yeah, we had a little bit of fun. Uh, I mean, surprisingly, he said that he makes 360 to the wheels on low boost and high boost he was making 500. Obviously, I don't have a uh, way to prove it, but I don't see why he would lie. Uh, he seemed pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so there's two runs. There was three runs. The first one I didn't record because I just thought it was a regular Civic, to be honest. And I thought we were just gonna be playing around. Um, but after I saw that it was a close, close one, I decided to get the camera out and record some footage and I did the best that I could because I had a, I had to hold the camera and look at the road at the same time and when I was recording I wasn't really looking at the camera I was just kind of guessing where to point the uh, camera to so yeah guys uh, I'm gonna leave it right here with the footage and hopefully maybe even in the future we'll have more footage of what's coming now uh, but we'll try to keep it safe and hopefully we'll end up at the track sometime. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. 
All right, guys, so before we get started with the video, I just want to mention a couple things. On the runs that I did, I actually had the car shift itself because it's obvious that I can't hold the steering wheel and hold the camera and be able to shift at the same time. So if you guys didn't know, if you put it in sport mode, the if you put the transmission in sport mode and you tapped on the throttle, it actually, the car actually downshifts for you. So if you do a slight tap, it, sh it downshifts in one gear. But if you tap the, the gas pedal real quick all the way to the bottom, it'll downshift to the lowest gear that it recommends. And then within, I believe, maybe two to three seconds, you have to actually hit, hit the gas. Because if you don't, then the car shifts to a higher gear. And this is what happened on the first run. I downshifted, and because we didn't take off right away, the car shifted. And then, so when I hit the gas... The car had to drop gear again and take off so this is why there was a delay when you can see him taking off on me but luckily because I believe I have an advantage with the transmission the transmission shifts really quick and this is one of the main reasons why I really wanted I chose the automatic over the manual yes the manual is a lot funner to drive at times but trust me if you've never driven an F30 with this transmission uh, or a actually all, all the f30s have it but if you've never driven a f30 uh compared to a e90 it's way different uh this car is a lot more funner to drive but this is just something that i forgot to mention while i was recording but yeah guys uh and the second video that's a whole completely different story so if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button drop a comment and hit that like button as well and enjoy the footage and we'll see you guys in the next one.